Hi students, welcome back. In the last class, we discussed about what are the factors that are affecting the resistance of a material. Today, we are going to discuss some problems related to resistance and uh, Ohm's law. Our first question is, a resistance of a metal wire of length 1 meter is 26 Ohm. Resistance of a metal wire of length, that is length is given, length L is equal to 1 meter, is 26 Ohm. Resistance also given, resistance R is equal to 26 Ohm at 20 degree Celsius. If the diameter of the wire is 0 0.3 millimeter, diameter is given, Diameter is equal to 0 0.3 millimeter. Then what about the radius? Radius R is equal to diameter divided by 2. That is equal to 0 0.3. 1 millimeter is equal to 10 raised to minus 3 meter divided by 2. Okay. Now, we want to find out what about the resistivity of the metal at that temperature. Okay. For this, we know the equation for the resistance. A resistance R is equal to rho into L divided by A. From this, what about resistivity? Resistivity rho equal to R A divided by L. Okay, resistance R is given. What about the area of cross section? Okay, if this is the wire, what about the area of cross section of this wire? Area of cross section. Okay, one end of the wire is in the form of a circle. So, area of cross section is equal to pi R square. Okay, area instead of area we can write it as pi R square. Divided by length L. Resistance R is equal to 26 Ohm. Into. What about pi? Pi is equal to 3.14. Into. What about the radius? Radius R is equal to 0 0.3 millimeter. Therefore 0 0.3 into 10 raised to minus 3. Divided by 2, the whole square, R square, therefore, the whole square, divided by, what about the length of the wire, length is equal to 1 meter. Now, we can write it as 26 into 3.14 into 0 0.3, the whole square is equal to 0 0.09 into 10 raised to minus 3, the whole square is equal to minus 6. Okay. Divided by 4. 2 square is equal to 4. On solving this value, we get it as 1.84 into 10 raised to minus 6. Okay. What is the unit of resistivity? It is ohm meter. So, we can write it as Ohm meter. Okay. Resistivity rho is equal to ohm meter. Okay. While doing this type of questions, we want to give special mention to what about the area of cross section. If it is circular in shape, area is equal to pi r square. Now, what about 1 millimeter? 1 millimeter is equal to 10 raised to minus 3 meter. Okay. Our second question is, a wire of given material having length L, length L, area of cross section A, has a resistance R is equal to 4 O. What would be the resistance of other, another wire or same material? Material is same. That means resistivity of both of them are same. Okay. Having length. Length becomes equal to L by 2. Length changes to L by 2. 
and area of cross section area of cross section also changes to 2a what will be the new resistance okay we know the equation for the resistance r is equal to rho into l divided by a and that resistance is equal to 4 ohm what about here resistance r is equal to rho into resistivity so same so we can write it as rho rho into l l is equal to l by 2 l divided by 2 l by 2 divided by what about area of cross section area changes to 2a okay now we can write it as rho into l divided by 2 comes to the denominator therefore 4a 2 into 2 is equal to 4. Okay. Instead of rho L divided by A. What about rho L by A? Rho L by A is equal to 4 ohm. Therefore 4 divided by. Here it is equal to 4. 4 by 4. 4 by 4 is equal to 1. Therefore resistance is equal to 1 ohm. Okay. When the length changes to L by 2. And area of cross section changes to 2A. Then what about the resistance? The new resistance becomes equal to 1 ohm. Okay. A third question is, how much current will an electric bulb draw from 220 volt source? 220 volt source means voltage is given, voltage is equal to 220 volt. If the resistance of the filament is, resistance also given, resistance is equal to 1200 ohm. Okay. Voltage and resistance are given, we want to find out current. Okay. What about the value of current? According to Ohm's law, we can write V is equal to I into R. Okay. V is equal to I into R. Therefore, I is equal to V divided by R. It's equal to, what's the value of V? V is equal to 220 volt. 220 divided by resistance R is equal to 1200 ohm. 1200 ohm. 0, 0 get cancelled. 22 divided by 120. Okay. Cancel 11 divided by 60. Its value is equal to 0.18 ampere. Okay. Here the current flowing through the bulb filament is 0.18 ampere. Okay. In the second question, how much current will an electric heater coil draw from a 220 volt source? If the resistance of the coil is 100 ohm. Okay. Same question. We want to find out the current. Okay. Voltage is given. Voltage is equal to 220 volt. Same voltage. That is 220 volt. Okay. What about the resistance? Resistance of the coil is 100 ohm. Resistance R is equal to 100. Okay. From Ohm's law, we can write V is equal to I into R. Therefore, I is equal to V divided by R. V is equal to 220. 220 divided by 100. That's equal to 2.2 ampere. Okay. Then what about the current drawn from the same source? Current drawn is equal to 2.2 ampere. That's all about today's portion. I think this topic is clear for you. If you like this video, please subscribe and enable the bell button. Thank you.